In this video we're going to go over dictionary, how to add, modify, and delete entries out of the dictionary. So we're going to go here to the dictionary maintenance button on the left hand side of the screen. Click it. Here is our dictionary. All the dictionaries in our user directory. I don't have a lot here because this is a brand new uh, user. And here's my personal dictionary, so I'm just going to double click on it to open it up. And it'll tell you all kinds of information down here on the status bar. This dictionary has 175,490 entries. Of those, 175,092 are unique, and there are 398 conflicts. So to add an entry to the dictionary, you simply click on Add. You add your steno. And put your English here. Mind you, I'm not a writer, so this may look weird to you. And then click on Add. Now, if this is a conflict, if I'm creating a conflict with this, then you will see it come up and tell you right away there's a conflict. If not, it'll just continue and let you add some more. And what do we want this to be? Oh, I want this to be a question line tab bracket Q period if you use period closing bracket tab up cap. And again, if it's a conflict, it will stop you and let you know. And here's what exactly it's going to do. And you can, this is the, the entry that's in the dictionary. This is the one that's coming in. And so now you can decide here if you want to add it to create a conflict, overwrite, or skip it. Now, adding conflicts, some people do write with conflicts. But anytime there's a bracket like these square brackets, D don't make those conflicts. The, winner, uh, the uh, translator has a hard time with these. So let's not do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select it and I'm going to go over overwrite it. And then again, here it comes just going through uh, adding of entries. And it'll keep doing that until you close it. Okay, now I want to modify this. Oh, let's modify this one. Let's say I don't want period a period here anymore. I just click on it. Modify. Here's the modify button over here. I can spell check it if I want. And then modify. Boom. No period. Now, if I want to delete entries, and let's say I want to delete uh, conflicts, select conflicts only steno. I just think the look of it is, is a lot easier um, when you want to view this. So now I'm going to get rid of a conflict from each of these, but I don't want to go in a row because I'm deleting every other one. I'm going to press and hold my control key as I do this. So those are the entries I don't want. And I'm going to hit the delete key, and it's asking to ask me, are you sure? And you just say yes. And those will go away. Now, anytime you make a lot of changes to your dictionary, make sure that you go up to here, uh, up to file, and do a rebuild. Now, I have the editor open, and that is not something that we want that we can we cannot have it open if we are going to do a rebuild for the dictionary. So um, back here, we're going to click on File, and we're going to call uh, click on Rebuild. So sometimes what happens is after you make a lot of changes, if you don't do the rebuild, it looks like those changes didn't take. But if you do the rebuild, then those um, changes will have taken and, and you'll be good. And really, that's all there is to adding, deleting and modifying your dictionary. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.